What's up, you two? I'm doing a video on Modern Warfare 3 black screen fix. I already did one video before this. If you want to check that out, um, this is a new one. It actually took off the problem. I don't get the black screen at all anymore. So, I mean, I'll show y'all what I did. I just did it a couple minutes ago, and it works. To show y'all that, uh, you know that it works and everything. I'm gonna turn off the whole Xbox completely. See, I can see I don't get the black screen at all anymore. After I did this, I was just messing around. All right, I'm turning it back on. Right there. I just, I was just messing around, just doing <laughs> dumb stuff and. Hey, I got the black screen off magically. Alright, I found out how to do it. So let me sign in real quick. Put my preferences offline so my friends won't know I'm online. So I won't get bothered. Alright, here goes my gamer tag. Same as I said in the last video. This doesn't work for you. Don't be bothering me with, you know, oh, it didn't work or whatever. I'm just gonna ignore your message or whatever. You could comment on the video. I'll comment back if I see it. Alright. Start up my Warfare 3. As you can see. Hold up, I didn't even start up. Oh, there it goes. Alright, um. As you can see in the other video that I made, every time I would have to keep on plugging my Ethernet cable and, you know. It was to keep doing it every time I wanted to play Modern Warfare. But now I actually found out how to do it. Without having to unplug this. This fixes it completely. If it was still the same account as you can see in the past video. It was cleaning shots. Except now I don't have to do the unplugging for nothing. Look I'm just going to press Xbox Live. And then it'll start up like regular. Like if I never got the black screen. There it goes. Fetch you my profile. There it goes. Let's just wait a little bit to see if I get the black screen. I would have gotten it by now. I'm just not getting it. I mean, at all. So. Alright, this is what it is. It's whenever, instead of, you know, doing, as I said in the last video, you know, right when you click Xbox Live, you wait for it to get your profile, and then, you know, you unplug the Ethernet cable, you ain't got to do that no more. It's just, whenever you click Xbox Live, it'll fetch your profile right here, in the middle of the screen, fetching profile. When it's done fetching the profile, you quickly press B A B A like this as I'm doing right now. Look, B A B A like that. You do it like I don't know, you can do it like ten times, twenty times to be safe. And whenever you do it, it's pretty much it. It just goes away. I guess it just Yeah, I never got it after that. After I did that, I haven't got it at all. So y'all could try that. That's a permanent solution. It's not it's not temporary like the past one that I did. And if this doesn't work, you can still try the other one. I'm pretty sure one of those is bound to work. I mean, the other one let me play online, but I had to keep doing it. This one, it's like permanent. I don't I don't get the black screen at all. See, my Xbox even has installed to the hard drive. It even stayed quiet. And no black screen. I could right away let me go to Team Deathmatch. Bam. There it goes. I'm not gonna get the black screen, so so I can tell. You know, rate, comment, subscribe. I don't really care if you subscribe, but yeah, rate and comment if you have any questions.